my loves i'm andrea and welcome to life as i know it if you're new welcome if you return returning back welcome back um on my way home from work my daughter asked me could i stop in dollar tree and get her some snacks because we were going to have a snowstorm like a lot of the areas so i said okay so you know you just can't go in there and grab one thing and just walk out without looking around so sit back, relax. I'm going to show you the snacks I got her and the couple of items that I snatched up while I was in there. First item is the movie pop. It's called movie theater butter flavor popcorn. I love this popcorn. This is some good popcorn. And since we haven't been able to go to the movies, this is good popcorn. I really, one of my coworkers was like, this is the best popcorn. Try it, it's only a dollar, come on. This, that's great popcorn. And you get um, eight ounces. And for a dollar, I would rather eat that than the movie thing. You could take that, stick it in the microwave for hmm, about 30 seconds just to warm it up. Or if you just want to take butter and warm the butter up and put it on it, either way, it's good. Then I got her the six pack of M&M's peanuts. So we all can share in that. And then I got her the five pack of Reese Pieces cups. These are good if you stick them in the refrigerator before eating. And let me tell you, the Snicker bars, oh my God, I always put them in the freezer and eat them that way. And then I got her a box of Sour Patches, 110 calories. That should be enough to last her the weekend. And I got Halls. This was the first time I've seen these. These are nighttime Halls. And they have a syrup in the middle. So, and you get 25. So I grabbed the pack of it because you know, with the weather and stuff, I do like to drink a cup of tea and I throw a couple of the holes in there to melt. And when you have like maybe beginning of a sore throat or a cold coming on, I always do that. I love um, hot tea. One of my repeat items always are sandwich bags. These are the glad you get 10 in the um, box and they are gallon zipper bags. These are great for everything. You can put them in a the freezer. Um, they even got them on here. It's great for uh, travel. So definitely, I love the sandwich bags. Like I said, you can use them for anything. Now, this is the last time I'm gonna buy these cinnamon sticks. I believe I have enough now, but like I said before, you know how expensive uh, cinnamon sticks are. And these are great because you get like this, looks like it's at least 10 in here and when you use the mason jars to put cinnamon sticks in here this is like two mason jars two three depending on how many you want to put in there i can't believe they're selling them so i think i'm done now because i got several and all the dollar trees i've gone to are not selling them so that's why i've been snatching them as i go but i think i'm done now this book right here is called sophie the golden unicorn and what made me buy this book is because a story with moral values. I was like, okay, we got to put that on books now. All right, so we're putting it on books. And it is, this is the size. It's an adorable little book. And I guess it's Sophie and her friends. Oh, it's Sophie with her three older sisters. So this is cute. I'll give this to... Um, my girlfriend's granddaughter there you go that's the inside so i guess they're putting these on books now a story with moral values okay i guess all the kids books don't have moral values <laughs> but while i was in the book al i just happened to be going through the books to see what they had and i saw this so i'm saying you know what maybe this was left over from christmas or because we cannot be starting this already. But I had to get this because it was so holidays with Matthew Meads. Hundreds of inspiration ideas. <laughs> yes, I had, I don't know what I was thinking, but I don't know, I just grabbed it. I just said, oh my God, this has to be left over from Christmas. But this is such a good book. So I said, I'll grab, I just grabbed it for giggles. It was um, 
which is not a bad price for a dollar because like I said, this is a really nice book. And I'm quite sure we can find one or two things um, out of here that maybe we can do for a DIY going forward. If not, we'll save it for Christmas time and we'll go back to that book and pick it up and I'll show you a picture and say, hey, remember this book from February? <laughs> All right, so moving right on along. The next item up is this little hat from St. Patrick's Day. I got an idea of something I want to do with this. So I'm going to keep it for St. Patrick's Day, and then I'm going to take the greenery off and see if that will work. And moving right along to Floral Garden. I'm telling you, Floral Garden is really doing the thing. So I got these um, garden flags. Keep life simple. And this is the, um, I got it up. So this is the gnomes. So we're going to open this up and see. Because I have those little flag poles that you had from the dollar store out on my lawn. So figure, okay. All right. This is what it looks like. So it'll hang like this. We'll put this out there and let's see if this makes it through the um, spring with the rain and everything like that. And this one is cute. It says, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons. All righty, are we throwing shade? <laughs> but I thought this was cute too with the colors because you know they probably come back out in spring with the flamingos. So I grabbed this in the gnome, like I said, to put it in the front when spring comes because it's snowing outside. So just the idea to put up because you know how it is. You got to grab it while it's in there. While in the floral section, I also got these um, garlands. They're four feet a piece. So I grabbed two of these. And I got two clay pots. I'm going to use these for a DIY. Make sure you look and check out um, my DIYs. I've done a couple. They're very fun, easy um, to do. The majority of the um, supplies come from the Dollar Tree. So it's a lot of the stuff that you see um, in my haul, I turn around and I use them and do uh, DIYs. I do everything on this one channel. So all you got to do is check my DIYs. These snow brush are great to have in your car. Um, I keep more than one, so that way if someone needs one or if they break, you have one. And we have had some snow and we've gotten snow again. So they're great to have in your car, definitely. Now this is the first time I've seen this in a Dollar Tree and I have used these socks, not this name, the women um, compressor socks to get one pair for a dollar. You cannot beat. And these are the long ones. So these are great. I've gotten mine from um, TJ Maxx and I've gotten them where there were half socks or when there was the band that you slip on and your heel is out and your feet are out. But for long trips or if you're one of those people that you have um, your veins or whatever or you get discomfort, these are great. So grab, I grab these because when we go back to travel, I'm going to already have my socks and be ready to go. So this one, was the green and black and then the second one i got was just all black so and you can't beat it you really cannot beat compression socks for a dollar now you know i always say what is a dollar tree haul without crafty square so in crafty square they have simply home that's the name of the maker Cotton twine, 100% cotton craft strings, and you get 180. So this is what it looks like. This is um the gray and white. They have these in so many co um, colors. So in my store, they just had the gray and white, black and white, red, and blue. So I just grabbed the gray because I don't have gray, but I know they had more colors than this because I've seen people haul this, but to get um twine, these are great. 180 feet for a dollar and this is good so you're gonna pay more if you go to michael's and um hobby lobby but definitely look out for this if you need this you belong among the wildflowers i got this this is cute i really like this i just don't care for the pom-poms going across you can take them off you can leave them or you can use them for a diy and that's really the reason why i got it but this is cute, like I said, just the way it is. So if you see it, you want to grab it. And I think you belong among the wildflowers. That is really a cute saying. That's definitely cute for uh, a younger person. I keep running into this. And I said, the next time I see one of these, I'm just going to grab it because it's meant for me to paint. 
So I grabbed one of these trucks. Because I see people paint and I, hey, I am not the best of a painter. So I said, you know what? I want to grab one of these, take my time, maybe use some um, painter's tape and just put the painter tape everywhere as I go along. So you might not see me do that as a DIY, but we'll see. Because I really would like to paint one of these just, just to do it. So we'll see. Maybe we'll do it for spring or save it and it'll be... Uh, I'll do it for Halloween or something like that. We'll see. But like I said, I kept seeing it. And I said, you know what? I really want to try and paint one of those red trucks. It can be any color you want it to be. Now, this right here, I have never seen this in Dollar Tree. So I could not believe this was in Dollar Tree. And I should have stopped and Googled it. But I just grabbed it because it was the last one. We're going to find out how much this costs. But for right now, look. Tulip is the company. Color Shot Instant Fabric Color Hot Sand Fabric Spray is an aerosol and is permanent. Not one, not two. You get three cans. You get three cans, 1.5 ounces. I got an espresso, um, rose gold, and gold shimmering. Stop playing with me. Look at that. Look at that. I could not believe that. So we're going to find out right now how much this costs. Okay, so I looked. They sell this in Michael's and Joann's. Now, when I look for the packs, they only sold them as three packs. With the three packs, it was um, three ounces. And they were anywhere from 10 I think, to $16, $16 $17. And it was like $17 on Amazon for a three can of three ounces. So this is 1.5. I couldn't find that, but to get a three ounce can by itself was at least $5 and change. Either way, this is 1.5. Somebody snatched all these up because like I said, this was the last one. So to me, this is a great find because you know what? You do it. You don't like it. You spend a dollar. If you love it, then you go out and buy something. So I love this 1.5. You definitely can do some stuff with this. And then it shows you on the back um, how you can do it on a t-shirt. So it just recommends that um, you use uh, lighter fabrics. That's all. The easy way to add permanent color to your fabric works best on light color fabrics. So instant fabric color. If you see it, if you like to do this type of stuff, then if you see them, grab more than one. But you cannot beat that 1.5 ounces. So, I love Crafty Squares. <laughs> All right, our next item up is from the Easter section. And let me tell you, I've seen people haul this and I was like, ah, I'm not going to get that at my dollar. So, because like I said, it's a lot of stuff I see and never get. But from the Happy Easter decor, Look what I felt. Oh my God, look at this. Fresh carrots, local grow, 25 cents each. Cottontail farm, 100% organic. Look, this is gorgeous, just the way it is. If you want to spruce it up and make it match your decor, you can put a bow around this. But to me, I love this just the way it is. So I've only seen two of these, two styles of this. So of course, I had to get the cotton, the Cottontail and Company Egg Farm, Hippity Hoppity Lane, One Mile Ahead, Easter Hunt Daily. So I had to grab two. I grabbed one of each. I really like this. And I've seen people, like I said, haul it. And I did not think they were going, we were going to get it. So I was able to get both of them. I'm not sure if there's more, but I've only seen people haul just these two. So I was ecstatic when I saw this. So it was worth going to the Dollar Tree to get her darn snacks. <laughs> so that worked out fine. Also from the Happy Easter Decor, I found this. It's six plastic plates. I just, that is so adorable. They did not have anything larger. They just had this. They had it in green and in pink or like a coral's color. So I don't know if they're gonna get larger plates, but like I said, I wanted to do my Easter decor around the color of purple. So I grabbed these. So I think that was a great find. And moving right along to Heart Candy. Now, I don't remember seeing this one. Um, it's a um, primer mist, coconut water infused 
So it says hydrating primary mist, 12 hours, all free, 2.2 fluid ounces. And I guess you just spray it on. Use as a primer to hydrate and prep skin or apply on top of makeup to set. Use throughout the today, oops, sorry. Use throughout the day to refresh and rejuvenate skin. Hold away from face and close eyes when spraying. All right, Hard Candy, I see you. You are doing the thing. 2021 is Hard Candy's year. I'm telling you, every time I look around, Hard Candy has some great items. I believe they sell Hard Candy in um, Walmart. So either way, for a dollar, and this is 2.2 Florence ounces, so this is travel size. Yes. So it is right in your little cosmetic bag and keep it going while you're at the airport or when you're off the plane, spritz, 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 and keep it moving. <laughs> I want to travel. <laughs> um, as always, thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. You are truly appreciated. Um, hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Also, subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that notification button every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Um, like I said, we got snow. We didn't get snow as bad as some places did. Um, I, uh, my heart goes out to the people in Texas. There are people that have been out without electricity and water for two and three days. So please send them your prayers. If you have family members, if you can, um, definitely check on them. Be safe. Have a blessed day. If you don't have to go outside, then don't go. If you get cabin fever, you know what? Go outside, walk up. If you live in a city, walk up a block, walk around a block. If you live in a country, you live out somewhere, go for a walk and walk back. Because you don't need to be on the road if you don't have to be. Let the people that need to be out there do their jobs so when you do go out that you can be safe. Remember, it costs nothing to be kind. And I will see you in our next video.